When it comes to cabinet upgrading, one of the most often replaced parts is the drawer front. This is an IKEA drawer front, this is an IKEA drawer. In this video I'll show you what's involved in removing the drawer front. The reasons for replacement and upgrade include two things. One, on the original drawer, and this is the original drawer, you can see, never mind the dirt, it just helps orient the piece as it was in the kitchen. This is where the pull knob was mounted here, so this is the original top. You can see here at uh, the corner that the original plastic veneer is so thin that in just five years of use it wears away along the edge where it's usually being rubbed or whatever, somebody's elbow or forearm or whatever. Uh, this amount of plastic veneer loss exposes the particle board underneath. It's not only a problem of color not matching, it's an issue. Particle board is a porous material and particle board being a porous material can harbor germs. So now it's an issue of health. The same repeats with uh, moisture and condensation that sets down on surfaces in a kitchen. It's a wet service environment. However microscopic it usually runs down, not in huge droplets, but just microscopic tiny droplets. And they, and when water sits or ends up along the lower edge of vertical items, doors and the drawer fronts. So what you see on this drawer front is that when the moisture sits on the bottom edge here, particle board swells up and does not shrink back to its original shape and size. Again, porous material harbors bacteria really, really bad in a kitchen. So that's what necessitated replacing this drawer front. I will also show you how the components interact or interlock in this uh, IKEA drawer. IKEA uses a third-party hardware made by Bloom. Bloom spelled like so. So this is what IKEA uses, and this two-piece hardware, the bracket and a spring-loaded latch inside the drawer rail here, clip together just like so. Now, how do you take it apart? Let me show you. The original manual, of course, doesn't say anything about removing. All it says is click, and so that's what you saw. Now this type of drawer with this kind of Bloom hardware has a couple of names. Maximira drawer is one of them. It can be Section or Axum or whatever previous models or current or future models. They all kind of they all kind of look alike. The side rail of the drawer has usually a curved uh, transition to the particle board drawer bottom and this rail also forms parts of the drawer slide. There are more elements of the slide mounted on the cabinet's gable. So inside this rail you'll find this two-part mechanism, one part mounted on the drawer front as you saw it and the spring-loaded latch is in here. The latch has a safety pole. It's much like a ratchet with a safety pole that doesn't let the ratchet on a winch run without disengaging the safety pole. So something like that is what's inside here. To work on the safety pole you just need a screwdriver, a chewed up screwdriver like this will work wonderfully well. And the safety pole uh, can be accessed through this rectangular hole and it can be raised like so. So it's spring-loaded, it's gonna come down on its own just like so. The shape of these cutouts might be different on different IKEA drawer models, but they all have this similar Bloom hardware inside, okay? So don't get sidetracked with, oh my, real shape, cutouts, whatever, don't match exactly. You'll, there are also variations on the Bloom hardware a little bit, uh, what is in the picture, in the manual, for its shape, 
like so it's not exactly the same what's inside here but it functions much the same way so some differences exist now on some model once you raise this safety pole it's possible to pry away the drawer front with bare hands in some cases you might need a putty knife which I tried and it didn't work in this case I tried a kitchen spoons handle whatever I ended up using a flat bar a flat bar is a cabinet makers or carpenters tool for removing baseboard and trim and crown molding so it has a little bit of a curvature to it that's fine that's how the tool should look like but most importantly for this operation it should have a straight edge that's not chipped or compromised or isn't marring the surfaces that you're working on so this needs to be inserted there it's possible because if it's spring loaded latch you can see how the components move and how this latch rotates a little bit but what's stopping the rotation of course is the safety pole so I'm going to grab this screwdriver here and disengage the safety pole it just pops out like so let me turn it around and repeat operation over here thereabouts and in this case or in this orientation the safety pole is down it's towards my right hand so that's how the safety latches or safety ball is out of the way and it needs a little push with the other hand there the drawer front is separated so that's the hardware that's mounted on it and that's how bloom is spelt on it if you want a different drawer than the original like i said and these are different sizes now you can see a little higher this distance on this particular uh, bracket here and this is what I mean it's different from what's in the manual don't worry about it uh, screw center to screw center is 32 millimeters on this particular hardware make sure that the left side and the right side are the same distance away from the edge and make sure they are the same distance away from the top and from latch center to latch center this is uh, what was the number i wrote it somewhere here is 387 millimeters this is metric hardware you have to go metric the size of these holes this is a five millimeter drill bit and of course uh, 15 and a quarter inches is going to be close enough this way and uh, inch and a quarter is kind of close enough this way and uh, whatever is the, the uh, fractional drill bit that will be close enough to five millimeters there is enough give in the hardware you know it bends enough and can take up minor differences let's have a look inside what you're looking at inside this bracket is the edge of the hook that catches the hole in this bracket I hope that makes sense and then the tip of this bracket is caught by a hook the hook is on a latch so you're looking at the edge of that hook and if I can grab this screwdriver I can show you the edge of the safety safety pole here so that's uh, there so that I'm moving it with the screwdriver so that's what's inside that's what you're looking at so that's how the pieces interlock it's fairly straightforward to replace these drawers but well, of course they don't include this stuff in the manual why bother